Today, 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 we can discuss the problem B from the latest code shift September lunchtime 2020 problem name GCD operations. So you are given a sequence A1 till AN where initially AI is equal to I which means that the first element is 1, second element is 2, third element is 3 and so on. You may perform any number of operations in this sequence including 0. In one operation, you can choose two valid indices i and j and compute their GCD, greatest common divisors of a, a, I, and j, a, j, and then let it is denoted by g. Then you can change a, i, and a, j both by its GCD. So you like you can choose any two numbers and change their number such that now you can change them with their GCD. So you are given a sequence a final sequence b1 till bn so you have initial sequence which is 1 2 3 4 till n you can choose two indices and replace them with their gcd and now you are also given a final sequence you have to tell that okay can you replace all or like can you change all of those numbers from the first sequence and convert it to the second sequence by doing some number of operations so that's the whole question so as you can see with this example i'll tell you uh, okay, let's draw the first example or actually the less example 1, 2, 3, 2. Okay, so the example is 1, 2, 3, 2 and the initial numbers can be 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now as you can see if I take this and this and find out the GCD, the GCD of 2 and 4 is 2. So you can replace this both of these with 2 and you can see that this like this becomes the final sequence but now how we can do this so first always look at the constraints the constraints are up to 10 to the power 5 so you have to do this in somewhat o of n or o of n log n method okay so the thing here is what you can observe is if i choose any two numbers let's assume if i choose like 1 and 3 or like this if i choose like 1 and 3 or like 2 and 3 the number I will reduce this number to is the GCD of both of these numbers. And as you know, GCD is actually a number which is smaller or equal to this number. If both of the number is 2, 2, let's assume, then the GCD is equal to 2 only. If the number is 4 and 2, then the GCD is like equal to 2, which is like less than or equal to this number only. But the GCD is actually the greatest common divisor, which means that, that number divides both of these numbers. So what does this mean? I will choose that number or the smaller number will be such that it can divide the number ahead of this. What does this mean? It means that if my final sequence look like this and my initial sequences look like this, I can convert this sequence into this sequence only such that either the number are same, this number is same, this number is same, this number is not same, but this number should be such that it should be a factor of four only. It cannot be three. Why? Because I will only replace 4 with the GCD of itself because like let's assume I will take 3 and 4. If I take 3 and 4 then the GCD of 3 and 4 is 1 which is all like 1 is also a factor of 4. If I take 2 and 4 it's it, the GCD of 2 and 4 is 2 which is also a factor of 2 like 4 sorry. So which means that I will only replace these numbers with a number which is actually a factor of itself. Factor of that number only. So what that's now the simplest thing. Now you can I hope you get my point now. So for the final sequence, I have to check that whether the particular number which I have now, it should be a factor of the original sequence. The original sequence is 1, 2, 3, 4. And the ith number on the bth sequence which is given to you, it should be a factor of the above sequence because then only I can reduce down the, I can like do some operations such that I can reduce down the original sequence to this or uh, like new sequence B sequence only when the numbers at the B sequence should be correspondingly factors because if this number is 5 then I cannot make this number 5 by taking some number as GCD pair. I, I hope you get my point. So that's the simplest approach. You can just go from left to right and check that whether this is a divisor of its like its number or not. So I tell you down to the code part now. So take the input of all n, the n numbers and then the ith number is i plus 1 because we are doing the indexing from 0. So the number is i plus 1. If the current number, this is actually b, I can also make this equal to b. This is the b array which is given to you. If the if the current value on which we are is a i plus 1, if b i is a divisor of i plus 1 and it is equal to 0, which means that okay, 
I can somehow reduce this value to this bi value. Else the answer is no and we can just directly return out that this value or this bi is not possible. Else if we iterate over the whole sequence from left to right and we find out that every element from bi is a divisor of i plus 1 or the ith element on which you are, then the answer is this. I hope you get my point and the code itself. It's a very simple problem. You just have to un understand the logic. If you still have any doubts, you mentioned now. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next one. Keep coding. Bye.